like to introduce your host for the evening, Mark Nodder, President of Northern Ireland Chamber of Commerce and Group Managing Director of Brightbus. Great. Thank you, Joanne, and thanks, Colin. Thank you so much again for supporting this event. It's, uh, you've been incredibly loyal to us, and we really appreciate it. Uh, ministers, distinguished guests, sponsors, and colleagues, you're all most welcome to Chamber Rocks. May I just say before I start, ladies, you are looking gorgeous. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's good to see that some of you have made the effort. And ministers, well, what can I say? At least one of you scrubs up somewhat better than his predecessor. <laughs> so, what, uh, what a year we have had. <clears throat> what a great year for Northern Ireland. What a great year for the Chamber of Commerce. Derry Londonderry, UK City of Culture. The G8 Summit in Fermanagh and the Investment Conference which followed. And of course, the World Police and Fire Games. Although someone should maybe have pointed out that flag protests and parades are not actually official games events. <laughs> not yet. <clears throat> and in the Chamber of Commerce, uh, we launched our campaign, Growing Something Brilliant, with our Mayor of London, Boris Johnson. We held a series of confidence building events, showcased local success stories at our Growing Something Brilliant conference last month, which was a sellout here at Titanic. A fortnight ago, we held a special leadership breakfast at Queen's, where we heard Professor Tom Malnight from the International Management School in Lausanne, Switzerland. And I'm not sure when we started this campaign that Anne and I really knew where it might lead, but anyway, we're going to claim the credit. It seems to be working. The Chamber's quarterly economic survey, published last month, shows that business confidence in the province is on a positive trend at last. Employers are looking forward to increased investment in their businesses and to hiring more staff. Manufacturing turnover is finally up. The construction sector is emerging from recession. And rises in prices are beginning to restore profitability for manufacturers. The Ulster Bank survey, also released earlier this week, has highlighted improvements in output, in order backlog, and in employment. It has to be said that we still lag behind other UK regions. But I think the key thing is that business confidence is growing. And the other key indicators are changing, slowly but surely, from red to amber to green. So why is tonight's banquet Chamber Rocks? Because after six years of economic misery, things are starting to improve. And I think that's a cause for celebration. So we decided to liven things up a little bit this evening. In the Chamber of Commerce, we try not to stand still. And we try to work very hard for our members in a way that is distinctive and which hopefully embodies a uniquely Northern Ireland flavor. So tonight, we're recognizing the contribution of our creative industries to the economy and to our local culture. Designers, craftsmen, and women Writers, publishers, musicians, performers, artists, games developers, advertising agencies, and more. We salute you all this evening. This sector harnesses individual skills, talent, and creativity. It generates wealth, and it develops intellectual property. It has put Northern Ireland on a world stage through film and television productions like Game of Thrones, City of Ember, and The Fall, and these industries employ more than 24,000 people in over 1,400 businesses. And together they bring over 330 million pounds into the local economy with the potential for a great deal more. They face global competition. They face challenges in terms of funding and scale. But as well as the economic impact, the creative industries offer the rest of the world a glimpse of what we can achieve in Northern Ireland so tonight, let's get behind them and celebrate their success. And what about the rest of us? What can we do to ensure that the long-awaited and much cliched green shoots are not withered by an early frost? Well, I have a few requests for some of our 
key stakeholders here this evening. Ministers, three things. Firstly, don't let David Cameron renege on his pledge to look sympathetically at corporation tax devolution after the referendum on Scottish independence. Secondly, sort out the planning system once and for all. It is quite simply a barrier to investment in the province and it needs comprehensive and immediate reform. And lastly, ministers, flags and parades. We need urgent resolution and we know it will take negotiation, compromise and concession by all, but the messing needs to stop now. Bankers. <clears throat> Bankers, bankers, we do have some bankers here this evening. Don't be shy. My request to you is show us the money. Engage with business. Engage with the new Access to Finance Implementation Panel. Help our small businesses develop business plans for growth and take some measured risk. And invest in I, Alistair. Please listen to your customers. Try not to make life for small companies any harder than it already is. And keep up the fantastic work in developing an inward investment pipeline. And let us try to assist you as you open up new export markets for our local companies. And to everybody else here this evening, all of you, believe in Northern Ireland. Believe in the future potential of this special place. Leadership is a privilege. People look up to us. So we have to show that we are optimistic. We need to act with confidence. So we must continue to share our success stories with each other and take that investment decision. Hire another apprentice or a graduate. Because little steps like this can become a stampede. And when that happens, the trick is to stay in the front. So enjoy your evening, folks. Rock the Titanic. Thank you very much.